So, you want to know how to become super OP before defeating any bosses. You must be desperate or starting to dive into the weird part of YouTube again to check out this vid. So welcome to another Dog Souls guide where I'll show you how to be a coward and not fight any bosses. First of all, start a new game because you're shit and name your character. Pick Thief and then the Master Key. Wait a minute. Did you just say the Master Key? <laughs> what are you, a filthy casual? Yeah! Oz already has a Master Key, you dumb fuck! So instead, let's pick the Black Fire Bombs and go kill the Asylum Demon on our first encounter. But as he explodes an orgasm, quit out quickly and you'll load back in in front of the door and continue the area as normal. The boss will still be there, so avoid him. Make your way around to Oscar and talk to him. The game will think that the demon is dead and give you the big pilgrim's key. Enter the fog, drop down, open the gate to freedom. You can totally skip killing the asylum demon for now. Alright, enough of the shit that's said to Firelink. Once there, grab everything around the shrine. We mainly just want the souls, home burners, and there's a white hander for the time being. Once you've grabbed everything, let's head down towards New London Ruins and open up the shortcut with our master key. Run past the Blighttown entrance and past the dead dragon. Grab the soul in his left claw, run past the drake, and grab the humanity in the hole. <laughs> now run past the rest of the drakes and take the elevator up. Pop all the humanities that you have, light the bonfire, and rest. Head down to the drakes and run past and up the ladder. Grab the red taster ring and burn it out of there. Once back, let's kill the black knight to try and get his weapon. The more humanity you have, the better the drop rate will be. So you can try and kill as many times as you want, just make sure to pick up your blood stain before attempting each time. If you get the drop, congrats! If not, keep your chin up as there's another two possible black knives we can get weapons from. Head up towards Andre, killing the crystal lizard you come across as we will be needing the twinkling titanite. Continue up and run past the trees and the Time Knight Demon. Andre can fuck off for now, go light the bonfire and pop all your souls. Increase your strength to 16 so you can wield his white hander. Now head out to the undead parish and farm the area to get souls and some Time Knight shard drops for the Zwei. Upgrade your weapon. I've only got mine to plus 2, but you can farm to get it up to plus 5 for the upcoming part. If you got the Halberg drop, you don't need to do these next steps. Run past the piggy and cut out to reset the enemy locations. Make your way to the top of the tower. Walk as you get close to the top to sneak around to the back of the Black Knight. Get it back. Oh fuck shit. Oh fuck. No, 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 no. Oh. Kill your second black knight to claim the weapon. Hopefully you got the drop and can skip the next step. Otherwise, let's head back to Firelink Shrine and into the catacombs. Run past everything and kill the witch. Pull the lever and head out. You can snipe the second witch if you have a bow. You can then safely kill the skelly bros. You can also snipe this witch as well to make it easier. While you're in the catacombs, it's a good idea to grab some of the souls around the place, so just continue the place like normal. Go across Patch's trolley bridge and run around the floating redheads <laughs> and into the pit of darkness. Take a right and wait for the skelly fox to climb up and give him a little slap. Drop down, pop any humanity you have to increase the drop rate. 
drop down the hole into Wonderland, start panicking, and kill the Black Knight. If you didn't get the drop this time, you're fucked. Close your game, and go on to Steam. Try and get a refund. The battle lasts months. You end up moving back in with your parents. Congratulations, welcome to fucking Dark Souls. If you did get the drops, let's head down to Blight Town to get souls and twinkling time night. It doesn't matter where you do it, but turn yourself human. Can be a Fire Link or Blight Town. I don't fucking care. Head down the elevator and into the back entrance. Oh fuck yeah! You can run past or kill the fatties for some extra souls. Make your way down, killing everything in your path. Make it to the bonfire and the man eater should spawn in. Wait for her to run over and slap her in the face for not being in the fucking kitchen making you that sandwich. Now we have AK souls and some humanity from her. Now run around the swamp and collect the three souls in the area. Back to the bonfire to pop all those souls and level up. If you have the Hellberg, the minimum required is 18 dex and 21 strength. For the Ultra Greatsword is 22 strength and the Axe is 23. Now let's go to the Great Hollow and grab the rest of our Twinkling Titanite. Dodge the slugs and make your way through the two invisible walls. Get to the bonfire and rest. Kill yourself on this branch and follow it up. Drop down and edge your way off the branch. Once here, quit out and reload to get the lizard to appear. If it doesn't, move around and try again. Once that one's dead, make your way down and kill one more and another three just outside. By now you should have a min of 10 twinkling and can boner it out of there. While you're here, you can also grab the stamina ring as an optional extra goodie. The next few steps aren't exactly needed, but it is a great addition to the setup. So we are going to grab the pyromancy spell Power Within. Equip your weapon, run to the path, killing two- what the fuck is that? And wait at the pots at the top here. Kill any flying shits, and eventually the dark guy will fall, granting you an easy kill and some moss to use. Head up all the ladders to the very top. Enter the bulk door and aggro the thing. He'll come down and just slap him a few times. Head up the ladder, kill the fatty, kill any enemies that appear and head up the ladder. Kill the dark guy and while you're up here just fall off to get a soul of a proud knight. Head over to the squid, kill it, grab power within and burn her out. So, you realize we don't have a power of flame, so how are we going to get one? Well, we can get one from Egg Boy after Quilad, or Barrel Boy after Crackbra. But that means killing a boss, so let's let's skip a boss. The next bit is tricky and might take you a few goes to get used to the controls, and to quit out at the right location. The easiest skip is Quilags. So here's the setup. Head back up to Blighttown again, kill these two, which is important. Keep heading up the ladders. Kill the other two thingos and make your way to some pots here. Punch them and slowly inch your way to the edge of the platform. You'll then enter a death cam. Make your way backwards towards the bonfire. And off to the boss. Enter like you normally would, and when the boss health appears, head right until you hit a wall. Then stick to the right wall. You'll hit a room and end up circling around. You want to try and find the stairs you go down after ringing the bell. The sound cues will also help in finding your way. It will take a couple of tries to get it done right.
Once you think you have the stairs, cut out and load back in. If you did it right, you should be on the stairs. If you didn't, it will take you before the boss room. If that happens, just try again. Let's now head down to Egg Boy and get a egghead ourselves. Join the Covenant and wait for the egg to appear. Do not, and I say do not, rest at a bonfire and make sure to have a homeward boner before trying this stunt, otherwise you are going to be stuck here. Talk to the Egg Boy and he will grant you your pyro flame. Praise the fucking sun! Well now you can burn it out and the rest is easy peasy. Get 10,000 souls and upgrade your chosen weapon to plus 5. Head to Darkwood Garden, kill some trees, grab a soul, kill some more trees, some more souls, enter the fog door, massacre some giants, kill the tree boss, Grab another soul where the flying stingrays that killed Steve Irwin are. Grab some more souls by overkilling the giants. And grab the wolf ring for some extra poise. Now, let's grab another ring. Head down to where the Hydra is and run past up to where you would find Howl. Kill him with style and claim your ring. Put on some heavy armor for that sweet boys. Chuck your wolf ring and have his ring on. You can swap rings out when needed. Need some stamina? Boom! Got you covered. Need some OP damage output? Bam! Check on that red tearstone ring. Equip the power flame and power within for some extra damage. Chuck the rest of your points into vitality and stamina and one shot every fucking enemy. Game. Set. I hope you guys have enjoyed this guide. It took a lot of effort and it would help greatly if you could leave a like and subscribe down below. Thank you so much for everyone that has supported me and I'll see you in the next vid.